Hi guys, welcome to Will and Real Arts. I'm Leslie. Today we're going to work on a witch. I would like to try to do base approximately a one scale art doll witch. I want posable arms. That is the goal. If we don't get there, that's fine. But that's my goal for, for this project. I want to start with the head because if I can't get the head right, it's not happening. I'm just gonna wrap this shape with some clay. Kind of like really basic, fairly flat surface to work from. Get the chin area going. Kind of like a skull shape. Get a lot of eye placement in there. So before I go further with this, I like to get the eyes in place because eyes are tricky and sometimes I make them from scratch. Sometimes I use glass cabochons. Sometimes I use clay. And sometimes I use little pre-made glass eyes. I'm gonna start with some little eyeballs. Get the white part. So I get my little little ball. This is just white clay. So we have some little eyeballs, and then we're gonna stick them into our little skull here. And we have some crazy eye creatures. Next, I like to get the nose going. This is where I'm kind of deciding what kind of nose shape I want. I don't, I have a couple references, but I haven't decided if she's going to be spooky or kind or misunderstood. So we're just letting the clay speak to us. I do want her to have a significant size nose. So as you guys may know, I'm just self-taught. So I just go by looking at certain shapes I like, and then I just keep adding to or taking away and building until I get the shape I like. I know there's probably certain ways of doing it, but I have to go with what works for me. So looking at certain shapes and just keep plugging away. Like I said, there's probably better ways of doing it, but if you get there and you're having fun doing it, do it however works for you. And now I kind of want to make some jowls. And I'm doing it by adding some snakes of clay. <laughs> the jowls kind of go from the nose area. One thing I don't have, a spoon tool. I don't think, like this kind, but like more rounded. I don't, I don't think I have that. I need a spoon. All right, now I want to add some ears. I'm not sure once I put hair on her if we're going to see the ears, but I'm going to add some anyways. work on her neck here. Still at this point, it could be a man or a woman. To make my lady, I am going with approximately a 1-6 scale body, but she's going to be an old lady and she's going to be kind of bent over. But I'm starting with this basic structure and this is just different gauges of wire. I am going to take some random pieces of polymer clay. I just want to kind of hold this base in here. doesn't matter what color it is. This is just to keep everything from moving around. You don't have to, you could just wrap with cotton or something like that. So she's gonna be kind of like, oh, hello, my 
but I'm going to be a lot shorter. Once I get her clothes on her, I'll decide the height. Hello. And we'll bake her as such, and then I gotta work on sculpting the hands. Hello, now I look really weird with super long arms. So now we have to sculpt some hands. The dreaded hands. I'm gonna go with some cosplay because I think it's not, it's a totally different color, but I can match it pretty well, I bet. And that way, hopefully they won't break. One, two, three, four, five. So hands are the hardest, in my opinion, to make, especially teeny little hands. If I could do a big hand, I think it would be so much easier, but a little teeny hand. The nice thing about this, she's an old witch lady, so she's going to have bony hands. So if they're not perfectly smooth, it just adds character to her. She is looking a little wonky right now, but that's because I haven't baked her and I don't want to move too much. So I'm gonna add her hands on and I am gonna use a little super sculpty for that too. So we have her hands attached. So we have a nice bake. The arms are still movable and I'm gonna go ahead and paint her face and try to match her hands as much as possible and give her a little bit of color to start with using some soft pastels. A little bit of paint. And another trick, makeup sponge. I'm gonna let her be for a little bit now. I'm, I want to start adding her bulk cotton batting for like quilting, quilt batting, but I couldn't find it and this is what I have. I just have some filler, cotton fill, and I'm going to give her a body. And I'm just gonna take some of this, this is stuff that I have at Halloween time. It's just, I don't even know what it was for, but I use it, use it for Halloween stuff. And it's just this cheapo fabric, but I'm gonna wrap her in it with hot glue and some stuffing and then go from there. I'm just working on adding some bulk to her shape just by layering. I do you want her to be kind of hunched over? I want her to have this kind of lace collar, so I cut the piece off this lace fabric and then I'm going to glue that around her neck. We have my friend here, just started. This is in her outfit. This is just the beginning of her outfit. Now I think I want to add her hair in because I need to decide from there whether or not is she going to be more plump? Is she going to be just around this size? I think the hair will help add 
because I also want her to have some type of um, shawl type thing. We're gonna add hair to her and I'm gonna use my handy dandy rug that I used on Falcor and I used on my Santa Claus last Christmas. This is awesome hair for everyone. It's come in handy in multiple, multiple places. I'm gonna use some tacky glue. Jeez, we're just gonna be covered with fuzz today. So I'm gonna start back here. I kind of like it if the glue is a little watered down because then it's not so clunky. I'm just going to continue the same process all around her head and then I'll show you when I get a little further along. We're going to go back and forth between outfit and hair. I'm just having a blast here. Just playing around with this. All right, I couldn't help myself. I just did more draping because I had to. She's going to need a vacuum. She's fun. That is a look right there. Kind of balding, balding lady. I am going to get one part going so it will dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the part, glue it down. And then once it's glued in place, we're going to flip it, finish out this side. And then I'm going to flip that piece over. That's the plan. <laughs> so that flap is going to be flipped over once it's dry. It's the next day and she looks a little disheveled now. This hair, this piece that's like sticking up needs to go that way. And then there's a couple pieces that got a little snaggled with the glue. So I'm letting them dry and then I'm gonna snip them out. She's looking pretty cute. I love her. We need to start turning her into a swamp witch. Right now, she just looks like a nice old lady. That's not what I'm going for. So this is her armature and she's gonna wear a dress and I don't think I need to make her feet, but I can always add feet, but I also made it so it's self-standing. I want her to be bent over like this. She's gonna be able to stand up on her own. Let's continue on with her dress. <laughs> I love it. So I have some of the chalk pastels. I just wanna see if I can dirty her. I think that's gonna do it. I'm just taking some browns and some green pastels. I don't wanna dirty up her hair. She kinda of looks cute with her hair pulled back. She looks like a Victorian lady. She's living in the swamp. She might have been a fancy lady once, but now she lives in the swamp. She is swamp witch city. I took some of this creepy cloth you can get at the Dollar Tree and I painted it browns and greens and stuff to make it up some. It also gave it a nice stiffness. Do you want her to have the hood? Let's see if I can make a hood. I wanna see if I can make her a hood that is something I can take on and off her. Let's do a little faux sew. <laughs> this will give the hood more of a shape. Did you hear dry yet, girl? You got some flowers. We have her little hood ready to go when I'm ready for that. Right now, I think I'm going to wrap her legs. All right. Her legs are wrapped in a glue. The glue mess doesn't matter because I'm covering it all up. And now I want to make her skirt. I want to do it again with different fabrics, mixing it all up. My daughter came up with this idea of having some greens and make it look like she's been walking through the swamp. This is what's giving off that vibe. This could have been like an old shawl or something that just got ratted up over. Who knows? Who knows why, why swamp witches do what they do? My daughter also suggested she need like a cane that was made out of like a branch. So we're taking a real branch. So we have this branch. I have one of these. I want to make it look like she has some kind of lantern, but I want to disguise it a little bit. I'm just adding some glue and some more of this crazy cloth stuff. Wrapping it around and maybe it's going to look like a spooky lantern. Some jute string. I want it hanging from here. I just put some hot glue there. Adding some different colors just to disguise the mechanism. Cool. We're going to let that dry. She needs to have her cape. 
I want to be able to take it off. So I'm going to do a little stitch here. Ooh, I love it. I like it. I feel like she needs some beads. So I decided a little tw a little jute in there, some beads. Everything is going to get dirtied up. Do we know why she has this? I don't know. This is just one of her little charms that she has going on here. We need to add some more. And it's more creepy cloth to this piece. And that's just going to be... Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. I love it. I love it. I want her to have a necklace. So I've got this. Let me see if I can give her the appearance of a ring. She has some... Rings, earrings, necklace. We, got, we hung the beads on the lantern staff thing. Still feel like it needs more. I think I like that. That adds some more something or other. Let's go ahead and glue that in. I have some moss. I'm going to go add some moss to the, her staff as well. I think that's gonna look pretty cool once it's all dry. I also made her a little bag that I made out of uh, burlap. I'm gonna now dirty that up as well. I'm gonna make a couple little potion jars. This is just a bead. And I have my teeny little hot glue gun and I'm going to make a little cover. So I took this red one and I coated it in, in Mod Podge because this one was a little bit harder to see and I'm just gonna stick it in my little nail cabochons or whatever they call nail art thingies give it some uh dipper right in there and we gave that some funky texture we'll let that dry and we will attach those to her handbag i think i'm pretty happy with her guys i am going to let some of these things dry and then we'll get a photo shoot with all her outfits I'm really happy with how she came out. I think she is adorable. Yeah, a little spooky. Maybe she's misunderstood. Who knows? Stay tuned for the photo shoot with all her looks. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Bye, guys. Happy Halloween.